here is how we flip an item's costing method. So the first thing we need to do is find the item. This item is a good one because there is none in stock. So the first thing we need to do before we can flip the costing method is confirm that this item is not on any open deliveries, um, goods receipts, or uh, goods returns or returns. So drag and relate is an excellent tool for this. Um, so deliveries, okay. It is on several, but they are all closed. Perfect. Returns, none, excellent. And on purchasing, we need to do a goods receipt PO, none, and a goods return, none. Excellent. So this passed the test. Basically, there is none in stock, and it is not on any open deliveries, returns, goods receipt POs, or goods returns. At this point, we can go to the valuation method and switch it to a new valuation method. This is excellent if you have a legacy item that was flagged as standard cost, which is inappropriate. It should really be a moving average. Um, you know, you flip it back to a moving average, and you know everything going forward will be a moving average. If there was inventory in stock, you would issue the inventory out of stock, change the valuation method, and then re-receive it at the original price, um, so that you know everything would wash out nice and clean. Uh, at that point, you could then do a revaluation if it needed to be uh, at a different, you know, at a different cost than what it was in the standard cost in the system. Uh, it should be a pretty straightforward process. Like I said, the only issue is when it is on do open documents. At that point, the document needs to be closed either by copy, you know, completing it through to the invoice or returning it, you know, returning a delivery so that those net out. Um, and then reissuing the delivery after the inventory has been adjusted.